Hello there, I'm Di Coke and I blog at superlucky.me with tips on how to find and win competitions. And this is a guide to how you can use Google search to find the prizes that you want to win and the types of competitions that you want to enter. It will also show you how you can set up Google alerts so you get emailed when there's new search results. I hope you find it useful. So let's get started with our Google searching. Make sure you start at google.co.uk if you're in the UK. Don't start at google.com because it makes it hard to filter your search results. Now think, what am I looking for? What do I want to win? Let's go for win Ticketmaster gift card because I want to win that this year. Then press enter. Okay, you can see we've got search results here. My blog is actually top of search results, but that's out of date. We want to filter this so we're looking at current competitions. If you click on tools here on the right, you'll see underneath the main menu, we've got new options appeared. Click on any country, change that to the UK. Click on any time. You've got loads of time options here. You can also specify a custom range, which is where you actually say the dates that you want to search. But the best way to use this is to use past week or past month and to do this search regularly. So you can do it weekly or monthly and actually save the search so you can go back and see new results. So I'm gonna use past week. So I've got results here. You can see the top result looks like it's a current competition because it was only posted three days ago. So I'm right clicking to open that in a new tab here, which I will come back to and enter later. Now I've got this search result, I want to save it in my bookmark so I can use it weekly and check if there's any new competitions. To do that, I'm gonna click on the star at the top to bookmark it. And here I've got all sorts of different folders that I save things in. So I'm just going to go choose another folder there and I've got wishlist searches here and I've got events so I'm going to save it into my events file there. Now whenever I remember I can go into my bookmarks here, comp, wishlist searches, events and in there win Ticketmaster gift card and that will load up my search results from the past week so I can use that anytime in the future to find recent competitions. You can add more elements to your Google search to make the results even more specific. Here I'm looking for Win Meal Brighton. So once again, I'm going to use the tools to make sure I'm looking at things that have been posted recently. I'm going to go for the past month here. So this search is looking for the words Win Meal and Brighton in any results. If I put quote marks around this phrase and turn it into Win a meal in Brighton, it's going to look for specifically those three words together in a sentence, so win a meal together. And that should give me more accurate results. I'm also interested in winning a meal out in London. So to this search string, I can put capital or, and I can put in London. This means that Google is looking for pages that have got win a meal together in a sentence and either Brighton or London or both words together. If I lose the or out of this search, Google is only looking for Brighton and London on the same page, so it's going to find less results. Once I put that capital or in, it's looking for either or, and you're going to get more results. So when you get your results, go down the list, right click, open link in new tab, for anything that you're interested in, and then go through all these tabs and enter all the competitions. But what about if you don't like spicy food and you don't want to win a curry? Well, you can use the minus sign to get rid of words from your search results. So if I put in minus curry, it means that any search results that have got the word curry in, Google's not going to show me. As well as searching for prizes, you can search for phrases associated with competitions as well. So for example, Proof of purchase is quite often used in competition T and C's, so you can search for that in quote marks as a phrase. Once again, click on tools, let's change it to UK and past week. But we want this to be related to competition, so again, add keywords, so win, prize and 2023 because the closing date should be in the terms and conditions as well. Here we go, so the top result here, is it's a current ASDA competition. So it's linking to this OXO competition, which is at ASDA, and it's finding all those words in the terms and conditions. 
Obviously searching like this, you are gonna get a mixed bag of results, but it can be a fun way to find competitions. What about searching for the kind of competitions that you're good at? So you can search for win recipe competition. Or win TikTok competition. Depending on the time of year, you might be able to search for themed competitions as well. So for example here, win Valentine's creative competition. You should also check out the image results in your search too, because sometimes you can find competition details on a photograph rather than actually in the text. Now when you get your results, you might see a lot of results from certain websites and you think, oh, I'm not really interested in seeing things from that website. In this case, we've got results from the price finder. So what I'm going to do is exclude those. And to do that, use the minus sign again and use the word site with a colon and then the pricefinder.com. You don't include HTTP or www when you do this. And you can see now when I do that search, that result from the price finder has disappeared from the top. So if there's a site that you don't want to search, that's what you need to use to do that. Of course, you can also search Google for your name in case you miss any wins. So put your name in quote marks and then you can use congratulations or winner. So Google will look for congratulations Die Coke or the winner is Die Coke in content. And then of course, when you get your tools, you can maybe change that to the past year. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to find results because I've got so many things on the internet. Um, but that's something you can obviously save that search and do that every few months just in case you've missed anything there. Now if you don't think you're going to be able to do your Google searches regularly you can also ask Google to email you when there's new results. If you go to google.co.uk slash alerts you can set up alerts for things that you want to know about. So you can see here I've got a few alerts. I've got alerts for my name um, that's in case there's any media or press mentions, in case I win any competitions and miss them. Um, I've got these in quote marks. I've also got instant win promotion with instant win in quote marks to see if it picks up any new competitions. Uh, I'm going to set up a new alert now because I want to win download festival tickets. So I'm going to type that in. I'm also going to put download festival in quote marks to make sure that Google picks it up together as a phrase rather than separate words. Here you can click on show options to change your settings. So you can change it here so you hear every time there's new results, daily or weekly. I'm going to put daily. Uh, region here, I'm going to change to the UK. I'm going to change this to all results. And then you just put in your email address here and create alert. And you can see there, I've got it as a new alert on my list. If you need to edit, click the pencil. If you want to get rid of an alert, click the trash can. It's as simple as that. So using Google on your phone, pretty much the same, go to google.co.uk. I'm searching for win football tickets. When you get your results, you need to swipe all the way across here to find search tools and then change to UK and change to the time frame that you want. I'm going to put past week and here you've got your competition. So if you see one you want to enter, tap and hold and that will open in new tab. And do that for all the ones that you're interested in. And then when you tap to see all your tabs, you can see all the competitions you've opened here. And then you've still got your results open there too. If you want to save this search and use it again, tap the three dots at the bottom of the screen and add to bookmarks. Uh, you can see here it's bookmarked my wishlist searches. But if you want to put it anywhere else, just tap on that, tap on folder and put it in whatever folder you need to.